if you're having some late season struggles, there's a couple things you can look at that might make a huge difference on it. And one of them is to sit on that back leg, keep the weight as long as possible. Wind as you're coming ahead, and then before your foot totally plants, unwind. It's more of a wind as your body comes ahead and unwind. Really feel the hips drive open. And you feel a lot of drive from this rear hip, like you get a punching fist on it. You know, it's a wind, boom, punch forward. Your back foot should drag up, shows you got good weight transfer and a good rotational drive. Because this hip starts here and it ends up here, your back foot's going to follow and it's going to drag because uh, that hip's going to move 90 degrees, but it's also going to move forward. That's number one. Number two is you'll hear the pros say, lead arm is a power arm. The lead arm does transfer the weight, or lead arm does transfer the rotation from the hips to the shoulders as they rotate, and that turning 90 degrees brings that hand and knob forward, and that's absolutely essential. You've got to have a strong lead arm. Your lead arm has to be strong to really drive. As your hips have all that power here, as your shoulders turn, that'll take and drive that lead arm. If you focus more so on the lead arm, driving, stabbing, using the slide tube on that rotation, then it sets up a nice boom. You get into a lag position like cracking a whip, and the snap's just gonna whip and come out its own. Snap happens too fast to really manipulate. You can drill it, but the snap happens too fast to manipulate. Really what sets up your snap is gonna be the strong wind. Stay in the back foot as long as you can so you don't overcommit. You don't wanna land first and then swing. You've lost all your momentum. Like a major league pitcher, you wind and you're throwing as the front foot's coming down and the weight's coming ahead. This is good weight transfer, weight transfer done by rotation. So take all that power and wind and then stab, stab, drive, extend, wherever you want to call it, but make the lead on the key focus. That's got a guide. It's got to go towards the middle of the bottom of the ball, wherever you want to hit. That's where the plane, you drive it, where the ball is going to be, point of contact. And sometimes you can even drive to the inside to help enhance the rotation a little bit. But if the lead arm is weak, I see it on a lot of lessons here that some of the lead arm buckles, and then all of a sudden the bat rolls over. If you get a good lead arm extension out here, your snap is going to whip sideways, palm down, palm up. If your lead arm is weak and doesn't want to come ahead, then you'll typically get into a rollover and tip pack. So really, if you want to increase your power, increase your line drive, exit speed, your consistency, stay in the rear leg, wind, keep the weight in the back foot, let the body come ahead and drive open, unwind open, torque open, and use that power to really drive and extend the lead arm as fast as you can. You'll feel a rotational pull, but you also feel extension. Like Brian Wigman will say, you got tricep extension, and you'll feel the real lead wrist whip. But more than anything else, you're trying to just explode that forward as fast as you can off the rotation. If you do that, you're going to get an increase in power, of course. You reach the maximum, and if you use that to aim properly, to guide properly, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit the bottom half of the ball to get under spin for line drives. Your top hand will come around most naturally for most people, but you might have to drill that as well on your perfect snaps. On your perfect snaps, make sure you drive the hands forward. Off that hip position, drive them forward. And the lead arm is absolutely key because that's what we see break down the most. Your lead arm transfers the power from the hips to the hands, thus to the bad head. And if you, if you want to crack the whip, you want to crack the snap, you've got to get a lot of lag, a lot of extension in order to do that. And if you don't have a good strong extension off your hip rotation and drive, then your arm's going to buckle. It's not going to, go, it's not going to uh, nearly be as powerful as it can. And the other key is to your timing. Timing on the back leg, even though you're drifting ahead, time it by a little bit of a coil. Try to keep the hands as quiet as possible. Coil, and then drive and stab, and you'll set up the snap. Great season, great way at the end of the season to do something simple but to absolutely do something that's going to be very effective for you. You can use a swing simulator to rotate and stab, otherwise you can just do a stab drill. Wind and stab. And stab means extension, it means following the rotation, but it also means driving outside of the rotation a little bit. Just trying to get it extended out there so the bat lags and then it'll whip on its own with the help of the top arm. You got to get those hands, what did we talk about the knob? The, or popping the balloon with that nail out of the bottom of your knob, perfect for that because that's where the hands are going. See how the hands are going right to the ball? Get to the snap here, do you have any conscious effort of your wrist snapping or is it just so fast that this hand blows by the bottom? There's no conscious effort. 
I don't even think about it. it the extent, does it the continued driving extension yeah. of the hands and the hips creates the snap because your top hand's going to throw up by the bottom. Right. And now the only thing that I do, I, I do, is I, I, I've always lined those fingers up, even with an overlap grip. I've always lined those knuckles up like they told you when you were a kid. Right. And I've always put it out in the fingertips, like they say, you know, like you're grabbing a golf club. I've always put it out in the fingertips, and it's always, you know, bone to bone there. So that's uh, one thing that I think helps me with that snap is keeping those knuckles lined up and keeping it out in the fingertips versus back in the palms and having it like this. Man worth his weight never has to step on the scale. Get yourself a new 2022 D Marine. Stay in loaded, my friends.